Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Godhood. Our little uh, religion here is really bustling. Look at how many people we got running around just shouting heart at each other. That's like our our main religious greeting. You see another person who is one of the understanders in the street and you just go, Hey, heart! And they're, you know, heart, yeah, sure. I'm like, I'm busy, but okay, I want to acknowledge your, uh, your presence and existence here, fellow human. Because that's what we teach. Fellow human. All right, let, let's, uh, what are we doing? Where are we going? What is our goal today? Our goal today is probably to win the game, right? We can see the final node. We can make this happen. This tribe matches 500% of your follower tribute. It also makes you immediately win the game, so it is completely irrelevant that it does that. We have two new disciples who are both, re if I remember correctly, uh, totemed for physical combat, right? Although ma uh, major knowledge here is also pretty interesting. And then Nox is... Yeah, Nox is Bull Totem. Okay, so. Do we need physical people for the final node? And if so, what type of physical people do we need? I should probably actually make a note of this. Hold on, can I... I'm gonna tab out here and grab Notepad++. And we're gonna just make a note on the other screen. Because otherwise I will, 100% for certain, forget what I have decided about what these people need to be. And you all... Anybody who's been watching this series knows that that is true. Okay. So we are up against nature, divine, and life, or devotion, rather. And life in the first round, devotion, shadow, and uh, ancestral in the second round, and shadow, nature, ancestral in the third round. Which means that we would... What do we, what do we, what do we really need to run against them? Here, uh, in order to get superior typing without opening ourselves up to a bunch of nonsense, uh, a Shadow Disciple is totally acceptable. An Executioner would actually be bad here because their Guardian would intercept a lot of the attacks, but their Guardian has no life-typed damage, so we don't have to be too worried about that. So we definitely want to bring Shadow, and then our own Nature Disciple would probably be a good idea. And then if we brought our own Divine Disciple, we would, um, we would not be suffering from any negative typing at all while we have a couple of type advantages on them. I like that quite a bit. And it would be cool if these guys were all morale-focused, because that'll largely invalidate the Guardian. Alright, let's make, <laughs> let's make that note. We want to go, like, Shadow, Nature, Devotion, uh, Morale Focus. Okay, and then round two. Can I click on this? No. That's fine. It would be kind of nice if you could click on it and have them appear over here just so that you could read their abilities and passives. Yeah, we definitely want to be all morale for this first round. Okay, for the second round, it looks like Shadow is just always going to be good. Although it's, it's worth noting that, or sorry, Dark. It's worth noting that Dark is not, um, Dark is not going to get any bonus damage there. In order to get bonus damage without opening ourselves up to any nonsense, we definitely want to bring our own Divine Disciple, or a Devotion Disciple. And honestly, that's really all of the bonus damage that we can get safely, right? That, uh, that Ancestral Symbol is the Rage Prophet, so we're going to have to endure some physical damage. They also have a Smite Sword. I am loath to run our own Guardian. But uh, we could probably run Zoo there safely because Zoo is so good at evading physical attacks. So we maybe end up like life, devotion. Yeah, life, devotion, shadow, or li life, devotion, dark, probably. So actually, a pretty similar run. And then in the final round. In the final round, we have actually very similar concerns. We definitely want to run Dark again. It just, it turns out Weavers are just the best. Um, and then what? Uh, we, we could run Zoo again. We probably do run Zoo again. Uh, we do not want to run a Devotion Disciple that time because the Beast Walker will tear him apart. But we could run our own Ancestral Disciple. We could run our own Nature. Or... No, it's pretty much run an Ancestral or a Nature Disciple. And it doesn't matter too terribly what they are. I guess a, a physical attacker will power up their Ancestral Disciple to some extent, but really what we're looking for there is just do as much damage as possible. So that ends up being 
uh, shadow and life, and I'm gonna keep writing shadow because I apparently can't remember that that's not what that is. And then, I don't know, something, nature or, uh, or ancestral. Okay. So actually, I kind of feel like we're just ready. We don't really need to make uh, other classes. I mean, not ready ready. Obviously, I'd like to get a couple more miracles performed, but we're, we're classed for this already. Is there anything else that we really need to pick up before we try it? Honestly, I don't think so. Maybe we actually do just get ecstatic and then go for this. It would be cool to pick up more relics, I suppose. That'd be a useful thing. Are we in... We're in pretty good shape health-wise. Yeah, can we just go do this relic thing? I know, I know that we don't have a lot of um, stuff in the tribute, but we really don't need to. This is life and ancestral. We want to run our own... Um, we probably want to run Ba here. And Ba does have questions, so directly across from you. And then... Uh, Tizo and Cuscatl. Not because Cuscatl is good. Actually, Cuscatl's pretty bad here. But I really just... I want miracle progress on Cuscatl. I want to max uh, max them out. Well, who, do, who else do we really need? We probably want to run... Yeah, we need miracle progress on Ba, because we're going to use Ba twice in the final battle. And then... So we're running Dark Devotion and Nature. Yeah, it's probably... Elo's already doing a miracle. We could try to grow our Beast, uh, our beast Walker. Beast Walkers were super powerful before. They might not be as good now. Maybe. I guess Zoo. Zoo's just kind of always good. No, yeah, Zoo's going to get massacred here. Sorry. Ancestral damage that is not... Uh, not entirely physical. It's actually really bad for Zoo. They do only have one life attack between the uh, between the lot of them. Although they do hit, they do get a free tune of life. It's probably a bad idea to run Coscadal in this battle. What about the other, uh, the other re relic battle? Does this look more doable? This is actually less, it's probably less good to bring Cuscatl to this. I, we're talking about a lot of XP, right? Cuscatl needs a lot of XP to get, uh, to get up to that last miracle. And I'd really like to get there. We could have, uh, we could have Cuscatl just go and train in the, in the, uh, the building that gives XP. That might be the way to go. Okay, so let's just, let's figure out the crew for this and then we'll figure out who's doing what job in the meantime. So we probably want to bring Tizo. Tizo gets the job done. Uh, we probably want to bring Uemen just because nature disciples are valuable. And then of course we want to bring Ba. We want to do this swap here. So Cuscatl goes in the XP thing. Zoo probably goes in the XP thing. And then we'll figure out who else goes where. This does have two slots, right? And it's... Not all the way upgraded, but upgrading it wouldn't make it more effective anyway. Uh, Zoo and Cuscatl. Okay, and then what do we actually need? I don't know that we really need much. Oh, we could um, we could use the Sunstone a bit, since we're talking about uh, heading toward the final battle and everything. Is ba, ba is someone who will be sticking around. Yeah. Who else... Who else would we want to... I mean, we, we'd want to put Cuscatl through it, obviously. Uh, we'd want to put Ba through it. We're using Ba in the battle. Never mind. So I guess we're just gathering resources with some people who are not really part of the thing. Um, it could be Nay and Ox. That would be fine. What do we want? I guess it's important that we have the ritual offerings necessary to actually do the miracles. Okay, and Elo is currently going through a miracle. All right, easy enough. So now we have to remember what I said. It's it's Bago's here. Tizo's in just because Tizo will do really good damage, and Wayman because Wayman can get stuff done. And look at that—we're actually getting to use all of our disciples, and this is good. This is a good. The game's in a good place. I don't know if um, if Wayman's actually going to get a lot of damage in here. I wasn't really thinking about the fact that we're up against... Bringing a physical attacker against two songsmiths is maybe a bad idea. Well, I guess we'll see if we suffer for it. 
I do, in fact, bring swift judgment. Uh, you know what I didn't check was the tagging on the claw abilities right now. We can kind of we can do it right now. Okay, it looks like they don't. Base claw doesn't have any tags. It is not violent, and so it is not suffering the violent debuff. Wow, good defies. I really do like the ability to gain XP without uh, gain XP on people who are not currently in the uh, the sacrament. That's nice. Well, he's gonna take a long time to get Ba another level, and we probably do want to. I don't. We pro we may not need to. And I mean, it's not like we have to get this right or we lose or anything. We can we can take a couple of shots at this thing. Let's see about a divine relic. The relic we got last time was pretty cool. Okay, this is something. Ba's Chosen Alpaca. Two Might and Two Devotion for all Divine classes. That's... not amazing. I don't think that we actually need Devotion. Uh, there are enemy Nature Disciples in two of the final battles. There is There's a Life Disciple in one of them. Raw Chemistry turns out to still be the right move. I think it's pretty likely that it's going to be Elo, not um, not Uemen, who comes into the the final stuff. And then we have the question of: Do we want to try to go get this other relic, or do we want to just wait for people to become ecstatic? I mean, a rare relic would be cool to have. So who would, who would we run here? We would want to run Tizo, which is a little risky because Tizo is pretty messed up right now. Actually, we probably don't want to run Tizo. What we want to do is ignore the um, yeah. We want to ignore some of their uh, some of the life typing and just focus on killing this guy. So, like, we put Elo in, and also Oweman's going to be a little tricky because Oweman's attacks are just going to get consumed by the Guardian. We could run Zoo against it. No typing bonus, just a sort of a broadly good character, and then. Maybe the same, maybe for the same reason, Ba? We have a couple of, a couple of good follow-up opportunities here. They have a higher overall strength than we do, but the Guardian is going to spend a lot of time doing actually nothing. And we don't have a lot of interceptability on this. I kind of like this, actually. We might be able to get this, we might not. I think it's worth a try. Let's uh, figure out jobs for everybody else. So Zoo, Elo, and Ba do not need do not need to be working. Uh, I was gonna look at sorry, cause cuddle. Yeah, I mean, slowly, slowly we make progress, and then we can put um, new guys in the thing. Uh. Tizo should probably just go to the garden. Zoo, Elo, and Ba were the ones who don't need jobs. So Uemen could also go to the garden, I suppose. If we push up to the next level, we will get plus awe points, which is pretty good. Maybe we could do this. So we're going to get 16 offerings off of this. I don't know that I think we're necessarily going to perform a miracle before the next attempt at the, uh, before the first attempt at the final battle, so I think this is probably okay. I wish that the UI allowed you to do these things at the same time. If there, there was some way to, like, set, this is gonna be my sacrament crew, and these are gonna be the jobs on the same screen instead of having to jump back and forth between these. I don't really know how you would do that, though. Alright, so we want to put question across from this guy, I think. And with that, let's give it a shot. They do have a pretty significant religion HP bonus on us, but their damage output's going to be kind of bad and weird, so it might not be a big deal. Let's try it, at least. I would love a rare relic. And then we'll probably hang out in town and focus on patching people up and stuff uh, until we see the, uh, the excited buff.
I think I think her teammates are going to be surprised by how not vigilant she turns out to be in practice. Okay, I like that. Spread the uh, spread the debuffs around. Oh, and we get a follow up. <laughs> okay, team. All right, well done. Yeah, that uh, guaranteed follow-up on crits is super good in combination with multi-attacks. I was a little worried when we, when we first started playing with them that Songsmiths might actually be kind of crummy, but it turns out they're awesome. <laughs> they're just really good. Okay, a rare relic. Who is blessing the rare relic? We have a cool life relic, we have a cool divine relic. I guess let's let's do this. Oh hey, Elo's Rose, we have seen the rose before. Chance to follow up whenever an ally uses a Marvel ability. Is that our first relic that actually gets equipped on a person? Yes, it it totally is. These other ones are just global. These are super cool though, the global global relics are really nice. Uh okay, well. How many Marvel abilities do we even have? Uh, Wayman would like to not be part of the next sacrament. I think I can do that for you. That that should work out just fine. I suppose we could put Ba in the garden, just to make sure that we're at absolutely full. We're not super close to Miracle on anybody important. I and mean, we're not super close to a Miracle on anybody, really. If we put Cuscoddle back in the thing a couple of times... Yeah, I don't know. We might be able to get there. Elo definitely won't. Zoo, who's going to be pretty important, definitely won't. Ba, eh, well, it, it takes Ba less to level up because Ba hasn't performed as many, as many miracles. Let's try that. Okay, ba goes in the XP thing. Uh, because Coddle back in it, I suppose. And then we could just focus on getting followers in the tribute, I, I guess. Like, if we fail at this, leveling up our cult is probably the best way to continue making progress. And it doesn't really matter who does it, right? Uh, you probably don't need to be getting offerings as much as you need to be getting understanders. As much as you need to be spreading understandering. Okay, let's just uh, chill and be happy until excitement builds. I will say, that's one thing that I really appreciate about um, the games from this particular studio. They always just make me feel calm. And that's a nice thing, especially given I'm a pretty neurotic, nervous person. Prone to... Uh, prone to just general freakouts, generalized freakout behavior. So it's nice to it's nice to be pulled back in the other direction. What do we want you to be doing? Oh right, we we want um we want some amount of sunstone stuff going on here. Let's see. Elo's going to be important. We're probably going to use Elo. We're probably going to use Ba. Or we're definitely going to use Ba and Cuscoddle. I don't think Ba's making it to the to the miracle threshold. So let's send Ba over to the sunstone. And does that only have one slot still? It does. And then, I guess... We can have Wayman go to the garden. This is not, like, mission critical, but... If we fail to end the game on the first attempt here, we're probably gonna need Wayman for something. At some point. This cuddle has, in fact, hit Miracle Threshold. I don't think we're gonna get the Miracle done, because I think we're going to become, um... I think we're gonna become excited on the next day. But let's try it at least. And let's throw Elo into the Sunstone. And then we probably don't need two people on gathering followers because we probably will uh, we'll go over the top. Alright, let's see. I'm expecting this to flip too excited. I hope it doesn't. That did. That's a shame. All right, so let's uh, let's spend Elo and Ba's ability points and then give this a shot. So what do we want to run out here? Uh, we do have dark opponents in a couple of the rounds. Sorry, dark opponents aren't what I care about. Uh, we we care about devotion opponents. We have de devotion opponents in two of the rounds. So alluring body, 
is pretty powerful for making sure the damage goes to the right place. We do have a couple of shadow opponents, and Sensual Touch does do life damage, which I always forget. Um, kind is a, uh, is a tag that we care about as well. Deals morale damage and inflicts the debuff and gets bonus damage from, uh, from our kind abilities, being more powerful thanks to peace being one of our commandments now. So, I'm actually really torn about, uh, about what to put out here. I'm just seeing if there's any, uh, if there's any weird additional text on the later versions of stuff. We get really good damage scaling from Charisma on Seduce, and also Charisma is, um, just generally powerful. We probably want to throw some levels of Seduce on there. So the question is, do we replace one ability with Seduce and then put Seduce Plus over it? I think I want to keep Sensual Touch. We could drop right Righteous Flirt. It's so like we do this. We are told now that leveling up will not overwrite abilities that were put in by the Sunstone, so I'm going to trust them. And the, yeah, the question is, second Seduce versus level up the existing Seduce. I am... They're both good. They're both good. So this is 28 to 31. This is 37 to 39. I'm going to I'm going to just put as many copies of it on the bar as possible. Righteous Flirt is also kind and is also receiving the damage boost, but the base damage on it is just it's just lower. Okay, here we probably want to just throw in a bunch of copies of Question, right? Raising the crit chance of allies is definitely valuable as well given that we get free follow-ups on crit, guaranteed free follow-ups on crit. But I think we want to um, we want to increase the amount that we can daze opponents, both because it helps us survive and because it helps uh, it helps get free damage out of Coscoddle. Okay, so we think that the way this system works is that it only makes the disciples that are in the first round unable to work. So we want to assign. We're gonna run. Uh, Cause Cuddle and Elo and Ba in the first round, so everybody else needs a job. Except we won't be able to assign everybody else because Cause Cuddle's in the thing right now. Well, whatever, it's fine. Uh, Oyman needs to. Boy, what does Oyman need to do? Are we close to? We are close to the miracle threshold, but I kind of want to put the new guys in the XP building. Not that we need them to level up terribly. We also probably don't need a Wayman, right? Uh, I guess just ritual offerings. If this doesn't work out, we're gonna need... Uh, we're gonna want to perform a whole bunch of miracles. So Zoo also in the miracle building. And Tizo's just gonna sit around and do nothing, because that's the way it's worked out. You cannot... You cannot intentionally cancel miracle uh, progress. Okay. On lose here, we still actually get quite a quite a pretty quite a pretty good payout, because that's a, a good normal English way of expressing that thought. All right, I think this is what we want. Oh, do we have any Marvel abilities at all? I don't have the rose equipped, but I'm also not sure that I need to have the rose equipped. I don't know if it helps at all. I don't think we have a single Marvel ability uh, between all of our people. That Rose is a lot better if you are running uh, Druids. That's why it comes from a Nature Disciple. But yeah, we don't, we don't have a single Nature ability, or a single Marvel between a lot of us. Okay, let's try it. Let's see if we can wrap it up. Yes, I know we are going to cancel, cancel the Miracle, and unfortunately it seemed like it was not possible to cancel it from the Town menu, so we can't take advantage of the fact that Cuscoddle's not working. It's a shame. Yeah, it's wild to have more religion HP than the enemies do at this point in the game. It's a very different experience already. This means that we don't have to go totally nuts and kill them during the first round. Yeah, we get Mind Fog and Question right away. Even if they got a turn here, I think there's a, a really good chance that they would die during their action selection. Because somebody's going to whiff, and then Cuz Coddle's going to murder them. Alright, and then for this round, we had decided it was Cuz Coddle and Zoo. Zoo is up here. 
Is Zoo's going to survive battle with the elected by simply never getting hit? Do I even want to put Zoo here, maybe? Just like, really trust in that evade chance? Because Zoo has a lot of evade. It says 100 on the character sheet. I bet that it's capped lower than that. I bet that, like, effective cap is 95 or something like that. But still, <laughs> a pretty good chance that we never get hit. And we won't take bonus damage anyway, because none of these are ancestral. So you will get maybe some free nightmares. You have a lot of follow-up stuff. Chance to counter an opponent's morale attack. That's a little scary. We're, we're going to get hit by this a little bit. Uh, and then, who else do we have running here? Oh, Ba. Actually, Ba needs to go in this slot, because Ba's bonus damage. That works out a little bit less well. Uh, maybe Zoo will jump in front and intercept a little bit here and there. Is this what I want to run? I don't want to run a Nature Disciple to take advantage of the Divine because I'm scared of their uh, Weaver. Yeah, I think this is right. This is at least worth a shot. We don't get nearly uh, nearly the follow-ups I would like on this one. But Zoo has a pretty high crit chance, so we'll probably get some uh, some free crit follow-ups from Ba. Actually, I think Cuscoddle has a decent crit chance, too, with the uh, the Festival of Lust buff. Ouch. Okay. Well, we do intend to run Cuscoddle in the final, uh, the final round here, so I'm just gonna cross my fingers and hope that we don't see her get destroyed. Uh, they do have the, the free War Reaper, which is definitely scary. And Swift Judgment. Okay, nothing, nothing terribly terrifying from here. So if we run... We're planning to run Zoo and Coscoddle. It's definitely scary. <clears throat> and then... Ancestral or Nature is what I've written down here, but I'm not 100% sure why, because a Nature Disciple would actually be really... A Nature Disciple would be in danger. We definitely don't want to run Devotion. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, Elo's really powerful. And Elo gives us follow-ups and stuff. Maybe we rely on... Uh, all of our various... Uh, words... All of our various action stealing tech to just not have our uh, our nature disciple get killed by war reaper or even like even war wind is pretty scary hmm elo's really powerful and tizo kind of doesn't fit in with what we're doing at all right yeah, we might get some follow-ups, but I'm going to just try it this way. I don't know that it matters too much where we where we place people. It's possible that Swift Judgment will just kill Cuscoddle right away. Uh, I would hope not, since it will do um, reduce damage and everything. But if that happens, we're going to be in pretty dire straits. If that doesn't happen, we're going to have a hell of an opening turn. And Zoo pretty much guarantees that we will go first. Alright, come on. Go after Zoo and get dodged. Okay, that wasn't too, too bad. So now they're all infatuated. We get this big opening damage. And then we might see some follow-ups here. Yeah, okay. Okay, never mind. Didn't have to worry that much. Your team gets really powerful. Okay, well, we have a lot of miracles charged and whatnot. Imagine how powerful our religion would be after this, if only we, you know, had to be. Also, Uemon is ready to prove my glory again. Presumably, there is a world somewhere out there outside of these islands, and we are just going to impress the glory of the Sacred One upon everyone in it. Having proven your worth to Quetzalcoatl, you are finally ready to ascend. As your understanderers watch in awe, you rise and take your place among the heavens. Was that- was I not already up in the heavens? Hold on. Who's me? I thought me was the sacred one. <laughs> has there- has this person just been walking around the village this whole time? That's terrifying. You will never be forgotten. Your lessons will become their age-old traditions. Thank you so much for playing Godhood in Early Access. Why, you're welcome. 
We're still working on a lot of aspects of the game, including how winning and losing work. Don't forget to tell us your thoughts on the community forums. That's a good point. I probably should go give feedback. I have now played a fair amount of the thing. We did it. We are the Radiant Star. What were, what were, were, what were we the last couple of times we won? The Jaguar or something or other? I wonder if these titles are actually related to your stats in some way, or if it's just random generation, or if maybe there's just only one that appears right now. We ended up north of a thousand followers. That last battle really does give you a ton of followers. Okay, I think we, uh, I think that they've really done some good work here. I think the game is in a really cool place already, and like I've said many times, you're probably all tired of hearing it, I have the utmost faith in Abbey Games. I think this is going to be really extremely cool by the time we're done with, uh, by the time they're done with it. But for now, I think that's going to be it for us for this video and for Godhood for the moment. Um, we will come back. We, pro we won probably won't come back at the next update. I'll, I'll, I'll give this thing a little while to build up so it'll be pretty different by the next time we see it, but we will absolutely for sure be doing more Godhood in the future. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you are as excited by the prospect of this game's growth as I am. Uh, come back next time for some more weird stuff and much later for some more Godhood. And we'll see you then.